I'm gonna play Call of Duty in real life. I'm also gonna be playing Call of Duty in this movie theater. And so much more. In 15 years of Call of Duty, various versions of the shipment map were created. I located the real life shipment in Indiana and traveled over 1,700 miles to meet with the YouTuber Airsoft Alfonsi to 1v1 on shipment using airsoft guns for the modern warfare universe. We began with using the intervention in Barrett 50 Cal. Gunfight. Eliminate all enemies or capture the overtime flag to win. Kill them all or die trying. <laughs> Yeah, you hit me. Stay frosty, yeah? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> then switch to the MP7 and Vector. You wanna have a go? Let's go! Oh, fuck. You got me. Oh. Okay, ow. In the final round, we both used the Bruin light machine gun. Come on, let's have a go! Okay. The next way I'm gonna play Call of Duty is in a public movie theater. I'm playing in a movie theater. How? $400. <laughs> I'm starting off playing Warzone 2 and Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> First person in the world to get a kill in a movie theater on Warzone 2. Well, that little drop shot's not gonna work on me, buddy. I'm in a movie theater. <laughs> In a movie theater. First person in the world to get polyatomic in the movie theater. I'm the first person in the world to play no Russian in the movie theater. My friend and I are now going to 1v1 with snipers only on Black Ops 2 Nuketown. No! I'm getting mopped. Yeah. Hey, you can't go that Hey, that's that's against the rules. What? Sit behind the car? You can't go behind the car. <laughs> go behind the car again. Look at this guy. That's what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm jumping and he's hitting me. This is so hard. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> this is so dumb. No! Ooh! Now we're gonna play zombies. Wait, who's buying first door? Your mom. Damn it! No cash! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 I'm the first person to go down in zombies in a movie theater. All right, see what I get. Oh! First person in the world to get the thunder gun first try in a movie theater. I'm the first person in the world to buy Juggernaut in a movie theater. I'm the first person in the world to pack a punch the thunder gun in a movie theater. We're in a movie theater overlooking a movie theater in the game. Oh, you got it, you got it. Yes! yes. Go. <laughs> You're the first person in the world to get the ray gun Mark II in a movie theater, Daniel. I did it. I'm now gonna do something nobody has ever done. I'm gonna open supply drops in a movie theater on multiple Call of Duties. Let's be the first person to open them in a movie theater. At least. Wow. Okay. So we get. Fine. Never gonna use any of this stuff. All right. See <laughs> so what we get. That was crap. so useless. <laughs> Let's see what we get. What a waste of time that was. I played Call of Duty in a VR headset. I want you to spread my cheeks and clap them, daddy. Who the f*** are you? <laughs> I use an Oculus app called Immerse, which lets me play Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 at a virtual desk setup. I had the most insane issues playing like this. The game was so choppy, I felt like I was playing on a microwave. I think you suck, bro. I uh, know, I'm in the metaverse right now. Straight up, you Man, suck my- Getting just a single kill was like the most exciting thing ever. Let's go! I got my first kill in the metaverse! Go suck you zombies, already. I'm going for the, I'm going for the plant. Plant that shit in the metaverse. Second kill in the metaverse! You just died to me. I'm in a VR headset, buddy. Get better. What? Mic check, enemy. Mic check. I need you to download War Thunder for free now on PC and all generations of Xbox and PlayStation. Xbox, my friend. You have Xbox? Yes. Download War Thunder. Why? Why, you ask? War Thunder is the ultimate vehicle combat game. Every vehicle is modeled in 4K resolution down to each component. With more than 2,000 planes, tanks, helicopters, and ships to choose from in dynamic combined arms PvP battles. <laughs> What do you say? Along with those 2,000 plus vehicle options comes an in-depth customization system. All right. Customize your vehicles 100 of the camouflages, historical markings, and 3D decorates. What the f*** are you talking about? Do you have War Thunder? No. War Thunder delivers unmatched realism across air, land, and sea. 
The developers modeled each vehicle with extreme accuracy, considering factors like weight, speed, armor thickness, and gun capabilities. Using my link to download on PC will gift you a free large bonus pack. In a previous video, I played Warzone using a 49-inch ultra wide screen that let me see more than other players, giving me a big advantage. This time, I intentionally gave myself a disadvantage by using a 5-inch monitor. The screen is smaller than a soda can, an Xbox controller, and even a mouse. I had to decrease my field of view from 120 to 60 because my enemies were too small to see. I can't even see this guy. It's so small. 60 FOV definitely made it better for close range battles. Oh, no. I'm the five inch warrior. That's actually crazy. You just said that. Let's go. They would still blend in sometimes. So I had to lean forward to see who I was shooting at. <laughs> the small screen made it hard for me to perceive depth. What? Oh my. I underestimated the fall. The icons were so tiny, I shot at my friends thinking they were enemies. Oh, wait, that's you. Bottom floor. Oh, I couldn't use my compass to tell my friends where enemies were. Getting looked at, I'm getting looked at. From where, Hunter? I don't know. I couldn't see my friends' ping. Uh, where are you shooting at? Where I marked? Marked. I couldn't tell inflatable decoys apart from enemies. Ah! <laughs> because it was so difficult to see people, I used a thermal scope of my gun so they'd show up as white highlights. No, where'd you come from, bro? Hi, bitch. I also used this 5 inch monitor on Warzone 1 and was breaking people's ankles. I used the combat scout perk because it highlights enemies orange, which makes it easier to hit my shots. You loser camping up here. Let's go! I won! I just won on a five inch monitor. How does that make you feel? Awesome. You're great, bro. I want to be just like you. Yeah, too bad you can't get a five inch monitor like me, huh? Got a five inch wiener. I hold the world record right now for the most kills on a five inch monitor. Go to three inch, Hunter. Let's go to three inch. <laughs> I don't think there is a three inch monitor. <laughs> There's gotta be. There is, in fact, a three inch monitor, but I couldn't get it to work. So now I'm going to play an interview an actor from Modern Warfare 2. Hey, I'm Chad Michael Collins. I play Alex Keller, aka Echo 3 1 in Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, Warzone, Call of Duty Mobile. You've got Alex. He's a CIA operator. He doesn't get to choose where he goes and what he fights for. He's a career soldier. How did it feel getting the call that you were returning for Modern Warfare 2? As with every call I get, I never know what it's about. <laughs> I was thrilled to hear back from my old friends at Infinity Ward, get back in the voiceover booth, to get back on the motion capture stage. You got friends nearby. You too. I told you you'd have friends nearby. What are your two favorite guns in Modern Warfare 2? The Icarus 556, KV Broadside. What is your favorite Warzone map of all time? That's an easy one. It's gotta be the OG for dance. So many good memories. Okay. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! We did the raid together in Modern Warfare 2 to unlock the operator that he plays as. Jesus H. Oh! <laughs> All right. I then got him a Warzone win while we played as his character in the game. Down. Nice. He circled around the shack. Bullshit, dude. Ooh, that gun hits hard. Dude, Look at you, oh bro. God. Look at you. Let's go. Bring it home. <laughs> a controversial topic in the Call of Duty community is if controller players are overpowered compared to mouse and keyboard players because of aim assist. Oh, let me let me aim my let my aim assist take over. You don't even have to aim anymore. Like the controller is superior to mouse and keyboard. Playing with aim assist is like cheating. Aim assist ain't skill. Aim assist. Why would you even bad. use aim assist? Aim assist. Aim assist. Aim assist. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Kids can play about weapon training. They just use aim assist. Aim assist. Aim assist. Aim assist. Aim assist. Aim assist. In a previous video, I hit max rank in Modern Warfare 2 range play and was instantly discredited because they used a controller. I played Warzone 2 on mouse and keyboard to disprove this theory that controller players cannot play mouse and keyboard well. I absolutely dominated playing like this. I used this average mouse, but I didn't use the average keyboard. I used this thing that functions as a keyboard. There's 26 buttons on this thing to do different actions, like using plates, reloading, jumping, interacting with the environment. The only downside was that I sometimes forgot which button was for my parachute. Oh! I forgot my button again. I used one thing on this keyboard that is just like a controller. I used the Xbox thumbstick on the side of the keyboard for precise movement instead of using buttons to move around and sprint like a regular keyboard. Oh! So good, so good. You win this round, buddy. No fucking shot, dude. Hey, hey, hey. Do, 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 do. Oh. Oh no. Let's go, baby! Let's go, baby! Another win! Oh.
Let's go, bro. 26 kills. These are my favorite ways I've ever played Call of Duty, and this was only possible thanks to War Thunder, so be sure to download it for free using my link in the description below. Using my link to download on PC will gift you a free large bonus pack. Tell them to download War Thunder. Download War Thunder. Like and subscribe for more.